What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And I get the same question over and over again. So I figured we should make a video about it. Vince, who makes a good cordless vacuum? I give the same answer over and over again. But the reality is, is that I don't know that we ever made a video about it. So that's what we're doing today. This way, when I have to answer the question, from now on, I'll just go, check out this video over here. I'm gonna tell you all about my pick right after this message from our sponsor, BCG Construction. So here's the deal. I tell people time and time again to get the Milwaukee briefcase vacuum. I, I think they call it something, a suitcase vacuum. I call it the briefcase vacuum. The reality is up until just a few days ago, I told them that I recommended this vacuum cleaner, okay? Because this is the one that I had. And the reality is I meant both of these interchangeably. This happens to be the Gem One. This is the one that I own up until a couple days ago. I'll give you the backstory. We were at a job. We were there multiple days. The reality was is that one for, for some reason, this vacuum left the truck, came into the shop, never made it back onto my truck, showed up at the job site the next day, needed the vacuum cleaner. It wasn't there. Had no choice but to send out the guys to pick up a new vacuum cleaner. They asked me, what, do you, what should I pick up? I said, I don't know. Pick up the Milwaukee briefcase vacuum again. The reality is, though, it would have to be the Gen 2 version. This is Gen 1. This is Gen 2. I would have thought that there was really no innovation. There was no real difference. But there is. This impressed me to a whole new level. Now, they both come with a HEPA filter, which is really great because no particulate is blown out of the vacuum, the, even depending on how small the particulate may be. Drywall dust, it doesn't leave the vacuum once it's captured inside here. In my opinion, this vacuum is way more powerful. They're both powered by the same M18 red lithium battery packs. Here is one advantage though. On Gen 1, you can see here, we're able to, to power it with a nine amp hour battery. But if we wanted to use our 12 amp hour battery, it just doesn't fit in here. And there were no retrofit kits made for Gen 1 because there was already a Gen 2 out. So they felt that it wasn't necessary to make these fit the vacuum cleaner. You'll see if we open Gen 2, we have no problem fitting that 12 amp hour battery in there. What's some other really cool features about the Gen 2? I do like this enclosed switch, so we don't have to worry about maybe like water getting in there and breaking our switch, busting our switch. I'm gonna tell you something else. Gen 2 seems to be way more powerful than Gen 1. It also, instead of hanging your hose off the side, and it never seemed to stay inside this little, this little hanger, it, the hose is now contained inside the vacuum, all right? It attaches inside the vacuum here. Pretty cool. You pop it down in here, and then you give it a little twist. Then the hose comes out the side. You close the lid, you lock it. Boom, you're ready to go to work. The other good part is your accessories are kept inside here as well. We have like a large area, I don't know, large area. Attachment. We have a little crevice attachment here and then when you're done goes right back in there and the lid and the lid closes the other thing is instead of having this handle that f that comes up that could potentially break off i mean you know i've not had that problem with mine but it's now integrated into the top seems much more sturdy to me the one thing that hasn't changed is the way you take the top of the vacuum to clean out the canister and the filter, I suppose. There's a latch at the back and there's a latch at the front. Oh, we lift up. I will tell you this much. I think the spot where the filter is actually has changed. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's, let's look side by side. It is slightly different. 
And, and you would assume that it would be because I'm telling you, I was thoroughly impressed by how much more suction Gen 2 had over Gen 1. I will assume that they're interchangeable. And it seems that they are. It does have a five-year warranty. The VAC, the Gen 2, is product number 0880-20. It is two gallons. It's a wet-dry VAC, okay? It is does have a HEPA-certified filter. All M18 batteries fit in the Gen 2. You'll see, airflow. 45 CFM, that's 45 cubic feet per minute. Suction, it's 32 inches of, eight of water lift. And here's the reality. They use that measurement for even dry vacs. It, it's very odd, but they do. That would mean that you can suck water, have a vertical lift of 32 inches with this. Pretty impressive, especially for the size of it. Filter type is HEPA, we talked about that. Inlet diameter is inch and a quarter. Total weight, 10.3 pounds. Uh, you know, I gotta tell you, everything is contained within here. There's even a battery in there right now. I gotta tell you, I don't know if it's just because it's so well balanced. It, it sure doesn't feel like 10.3 pounds. And I know what you're saying to yourself right now. Vince, specs are great, but we wanna see how good it sucks. So, we have some, this is just for an example, we have some make-believe sawdust and nails and screws here, okay, to pretend. We'll just see how, how it do. Turn it. We'll say. Wow. Look down in here. If you see this crack, this crevice, you're even able to clean out that crevice with this larger, this larger area attachment. Move down here. They're doing a pretty good job with that sawdust. To get up these heavier pieces, you might have to take that larger attachment off. Let's see if it will do it with just the schnozzle here. And you'll see we're able to vacuum out these crevices with this. Press a vacuum for its size. Look down in these holes. Let's see if we can clear them out. Wow. If you needed to get down into crevices a little bit deeper, crevices, what you can do is you can get this smaller crevice tool. You can see we've cleaned all the way down to the bottom of this hole here. It was impressive, impressive performance from this Gen 1 that made me decide that when it was time to buy another one to go with Gen 2. And this vacuum has thoroughly impressed me again. The reality is if you're on the M18 platform and you're, you do a lot of moving around service calls, you're in and out of jobs, you need something compact and portable, 
I couldn't recommend this vacuum cleaner more. I think it does a great job. It really sucks. Now, if you are on a different battery platform, when I tell you to jump over from that platform just to hop on to grab this vacuum, I don't know if I would go that far, but I can tell you that unequivocally, I would recommend this Gen 2 M18 vacuum cleaner. And if you like getting a recommendation that you can trust, whether it be on Gen 1 or Gen 2, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do, and it helps out the channel immensely. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What do you think of the suitcase or a briefcase vacuum cleaner from Milwaukee? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you use it to suck the water out of toilet tanks and toilet bowls when you're swapping out toilets? What do you do with yours? We want to know. Leave it down below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. It sucks. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.